House of the Dragon Season 2 threw us a curveball with Damon's unsettling visions at Harrenhal. These cryptic glimpses have fans buzzing, and we're here to crack the code. Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the mind of the most complex character in House of the Dragon, Damon Targaryen, and we'll try to understand what are the meaning behind each of his visions. All begins when Damon arrives at Harrenhal, a place steeped in history and rumored to be cursed. Could these sinister surroundings be amplifying anxieties already brewing within him? The castle's dark reputation might explain some disturbing nightmares, but it doesn't explain everything. The centerpiece of it all may be Alice Rivers, a woman shrouded in mystery with supposed witchy abilities. Could she be actively manipulating Damon's visions with potions and spales? Or is she simply a catalyst, amplifying visions already present within him? In Episode 4, when Alice gives Damon a mind-altering drink, a clear link is established between her presence and his visions. But we can't forget the Weirwood Trees theory. They are closely associated with prophetic dreams and visions in Westeros, and interestingly, Damon experiences his first vision near a weirwood tree. Could its proximity be further fueling his visions, or is it just another creepy element of Harrenhal? But let's dissect these visions. In his first vision, we see a younger Rhaenyra, haunting memories of a past dynamic. Seeing young Rhaenyra reflects a shift in their relationship. He might be clinging to a time when he held more sway over her. The presence of Prince Jehari's represents the fact that the blood and cheese incident was a turning point in their relationship, a chasm that opened between them. Rhaenyra, once a rebellious princess looking up to her uncle, now questions his loyalty and his respect for her authority. Damon's visions take an even darker and disturbing turn in another younger Rhaenyra vision, but this time, she's a harbinger of truth. In a haunting confrontation, she lays bare Damon's deepest insecurities. It's a chilling indictment of his actions, revealing a man consumed by jealousy and a desperate need for control. The vision culminates in a horrifying act, Damon beheading Rhaenyra. This isn't just a random nightmare, it's a reflection of his troubled mind and his violent tendencies. Beheading Rhaenyra in a vision hints at his internal struggle with his own actions and his way of dealing with problems. But what happens next is even more disturbing. He wakes up with blood on his hands, only for it to mysteriously vanish. This blurring of the dream world and reality suggests his visions aren't just nightmares, but something more sinister. It's like his mind is playing tricks on him, and it's starting to affect him in the real world. One of the creepiest visions shows Damon following a figure he thinks is Aemon Targaryen, only to discover it's actually himself wearing Aemon's eye patch. Talk about a mind-bending moment, Damon and Aemond are like the sides of the same coin, ambitious, ruthless, and hungry for power. Could this vision be a warning of a major showdown between these two powerhouses? The Aemond vision foreshadows their destined fight, a mirror image of two ambitious second sons. There's also a hint of something more sinister going on with Alice Rivers, right after the vision. While she's linked to Aemond in the books, this vision might be foreshadowing a darker role for her in Damon's life. Is she manipulating his mind to set the stage for a deadly confrontation? We can't help but wonder. Damon's visions are a haunting reminder of his past mistakes. When he sees Lena, his deceased wife, it's clear he's haunted by his rapid remarriage to Rhaenyra. Could there be a lingering guilt, a sense of betrayal to Lena's memory in his mind? Lena's return in a later episode is even more poignant. Her question about their daughters is a stark reminder of Damon's absent father figure. It's a wake-up call for him, forcing him to confront the reality that his pursuit of power has come at a significant personal cost. The visions take a disturbingly incestuous turn when he encounters his mother, Alyssa Targaryen. 
It's a shocking and deeply unsettling moment that reveals a lot about Damon's psyche. Growing up without a mother's love, he's always felt like the second son, overshadowed by his brother Viserys. This vision is a twisted fulfillment of those deep-seated insecurities, offering him the validation and love he's always craved. But there's a darker undercurrent to this vision. Alyssa's revelation that he's her favorite son, destined for greatness, fuels Damon's ambition and reinforces his belief that he's the rightful heir to the Iron Throne. This twisted fantasy is clearly manipulated by Alice Rivers, who seems to be delving deeper into the darkest corners of his mind. One of the most powerful moments in Damon's vision quest comes when his brother, King Viserys, makes a ghostly return. We get to haunting scenes with Viserys, both filled with emotional weight. In the first, we're reminded of their tumultuous relationship as Viserys lays down the law about Rhaenyra's succession. But it's the second vision that truly hits home. Seeing Viserys grieving for Queen Aima, Daemon steps up to offer comfort, a role he wishes he could have fulfilled in real life. These visions highlight the deep-rooted complexities of their brotherly bond and might just be the catalyst for his redemption arc. Damon's Heron Hall visions are a captivating blend of psychological turmoil, potential prophecy, and unresolved past conflicts. They offer a window into his inner world, revealing his ambition, regret, and the weight of his past choices. These glimpses seem to foreshadow an uncertain future, hinting at a potential reconciliation with Rhaenyra and a clash with Aemond. What do you think the visions really mean for the future of Westeros? Let's discuss in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.